I won't go into too much detail, but my ex, 21 male, we'll call him Mike, cheated on me nine months ago. Mike and I, 19 female, were together since June 2020, and we had our fair share of problems as most relationships do. I visited him as often as I could during summer. I would stay over at his house for two days, come home for a little bit, and then I was right back at his house. A few months passed and I started school, so I was extremely busy and I couldn't visit him as often as I would. This caused a strain in our relationship because I felt like he didn't care to at least make an effort to stop by and say hi. I was always the one making an effort to see him, so I stopped talking to him for three weeks. I stopped talking to him in September. Around October is when I decided I wanted to talk to him again. We reconciled and I thought everything was okay after that. A month later, Mike and his cousin came to my house to visit. His cousin came because he wanted to meet my twin sister. She was aware, I told her beforehand. Now my sister and I have a very rocky relationship, and Mike knew this. He said he wanted to talk to her so that he could possibly try and get us to be on good terms. And I told him I didn't want to fix it because she always does something that causes us to fall out. But he was determined to fix the relationship I had with my sister. So he told me that he would talk to her and went into my brother's room. My brother had moved out at this point, and he told me that I could take it. He closed the door and spoke to her. I figured it was so that he could get her perspective without me there to interfere. His cousin and I were in the living room, and I was making basic conversation with his cousin the whole time. I even sat on the single couch to create distance between his cousin and me. Now Mike came out of the room, and he sat with me and we spoke. I cried telling him how unhappy I was with how he was treating me and he said that I have nothing to worry about. He said he wasn't done speaking to my sister and that he was going to finish talking to her and then come to me so that we could cuddle up afterward. So he went into the room with my sister and I shared a room with two beds, closed the door. At this point, I went into my brother's room and was listening to music and his cousin was in the living room on his phone. To not make this a long story, his cousin basically told me Mike was cheating on me. I confronted Mike about it and he said no. My sister even said no. However, months later, I found videos of Mike and my sister having intimacy on my bed. Now he wants a second chance. Okay, what on earth? Sis, ghost him. Just cut him out of your life and don't look back. He doesn't deserve to even have you in his. Seriously, who does that? And lying to you about it too? My God. If I was in your situation, I'd do the same thing with my sister. Cut them both out, I mean. Still, I don't fully understand your relationship, so I can't say what would be the right move there. You can find much, much better. Yes, OP, he didn't just cheat. He cheated with the person he knew would hurt you most. Your twin sister? That's unforgivable. Don't give him a chance to do it again. Being alone is way better than being with him. Do not take this man back. I think there are a rare number of occasions that you could even consider forgiving a cheater. And even then... Reconciliation might not work out. Mike isn't sorry that he cheated on you. He's sorry that he got found out. The fact that he also cheated on you with your sister makes this frankly unforgivable. If you take him back, you are sending the message to him that you have no self-respect and so he can walk all over you. I 100% guarantee if you take him back, he will either restart an affair with your sister or cheat on you with someone else. Cut these toxic people out of your life so you can be happy. I'd be angrier at your sister than your ex. No matter how distant you are, you don't do things like that to your sibling. That's trauma, not some picking on or ignoring or being mean. That's seriously messed up. I am a 32 female. My husband Jack is 36. We have Lydia, Carol, and baby Solomon together. Jack has a nephron, young female, from a different marriage. It's our last week of summer before the kids start school, so we decided to rent a lovely little beach cottage for the week. It's a common theme in my family to take Christmas card photos while on vacations, so naturally, I wanted to take the pictures while we were away. Here's the problem. Jack is white, but Anephron's mom is black, and she turned out looking very, very much like her. I don't care what skin color she is and love her just like any of my bio kids. My parents, however, are pretty awful. I'm limited contact with them for several reasons, so they've never met an Ephron. But we're on Christmas card terms. I don't want to send them a card that an Ephron is on, because they will fuss about the child. 
So my plan was to take a picture with just me, my husband, and bio kits for my parents and a couple other relatives, then have her be in the picture for Jack's family and our friends. But when I called picture time and told Denephrin that she wasn't going to be in this picture but the next one, she started to look upset. I did let her take our picture, which lifted her spirits, and we got some lovely pictures with her too. We also got some ice cream, and she hasn't been upset beyond that initial moment. The trouble came later when Jack asked why I didn't want a nephron in the photo. He said he thought it was maybe so I could get one with all my kids. I didn't want to lie to him, so I told him why, because I don't want a nephron to be exposed to people who could potentially emotionally hurt her. Just like that, he went from being understanding to angry, and I guess he said she didn't want you in her picture because you're black, or something like that to his daughter, and now she's upset with me too. I really wasn't trying to hurt her in any way. I did this out of care and love, but I think I may have done it in the wrong way. Am I the idiot? You are the idiot. You weren't protecting her. You were protecting yourself, as well as allowing your parents' disgusting attitudes to rule a situation that had basically nothing to do with them. Apologize to that poor girl immediately and check your own attitude. Think you might find something to examine there. Hopi getting miffed about her husband, telling his daughter she didn't want her in the picture because she's black, is pretty confusing. That's literally the reason you didn't want her in the picture. So don't try and backpedal now, like her being black had nothing to do with your motivations here. You are the idiot. You're only on Christmas card terms with your family anyway, so don't act like you're protecting a nephron here. If you're so ashamed of her and still want to cater to your toxic family, you could have just sent them a plain card with no photo. Jesus, I couldn't even finish reading. If my husband did this to my child or me, I'd pack my bags. For someone not on good terms with their toxic parents, you surely go out of your way to hurt an innocent child's feelings to keep your parents happy. Also, you doing this makes you just like them in my eyes as well. You are the idiot, big time. I, 23 female, and my husband, also 23, just bought our first small house. We're both college educated and have good jobs. We just have the misfortune of being baby faced and I have a young voice. Unfortunately, we often get mistaken for younger than we are. On the night of our third day, one of our neighbors came over to introduce herself and bring a covered dish. We both went to the door, so we met Gail at the same time. When we opened the door, she was very nice, smiled and then said, hi, I'm your new neighbor. You know you really shouldn't just open the door to a stranger without one of your parents with you. Are your parents home? I'd like to say hi and give them this welcome to the neighborhood gift. So we told her we are actually the adults and homeowners and we accepted her gift. She made a couple of annoying comments about us being so young looking. Gail is probably in her late 30s, early 40s, so she's older, but she's not really that much older than us. Since that night, Gail comes over every few days offering to help do things. I work from home, so I'm usually the one dealing with this. She does everything from offering to teach me how to cook, clean, and decorate a home. She offered to send her husband over to teach my husband how to use the lawnmower and do small car repairs, things we know how to do. She even went as far as to ask if our parents had helped us purchase the house. They didn't. Because we just changed the dress, some of our mail has had a slow time getting to us. And unfortunately, one of our essential bills didn't get paid. So the business sent us a bill with a great big red pass due on the envelope. We also had a bunch of Amazon packages of home items delivered that day. Gail took it upon herself to come over to offer more friendly advice. And she collected our mail for us. And she saw the pass due bill. I let her in and thanked her for collecting. Gail then lectured me on having a pass due bill and deciding to order Amazon. She gave me this big lecture on how we have to grow up and be grown-ups and be responsible adults now that we own a house and we can't keep acting like teenagers. Our parents don't even speak to us like this. I know she's just probably trying to be helpful. She sees two young people and wants to give them some wisdom she's learned. But honestly, she's so annoying. This evening, I asked her to stop coming over because she was honestly offending me by the way she spoke to me. And I'd appreciate it if she'd just leave us alone. Gail got very offended and told me I should be grateful someone cared because when she was a young new wife and homeowner, no one took an interest in her. 
My husband told me I was too harsh and could have been nicer. Was I an idiot? Not the idiot. Why is this lady trying to be a parent to two adults? Very strange. She isn't your parent. You already have parents. I think you were as nice as you could have possibly been. It sounds like she doesn't know how to respect boundaries and is unaware that she is just a neighbor. Gail isn't being friendly. Gail is being rude, judgmental, and presumptuous, and her advice is unwanted. Gail needs to mind her own beeswax and buzz off. She probably ran her kids off if she's that bored and needs to interfere in the lives of others. I'm about this woman's age, and she sounds a lot older. I can't imagine talking to anyone like that. Not the idiot. You made it clear you're the owners and just look young, and she's in her 30s or 40s? She's not an 80-year-old who sees everyone as being young. How overboard she's gone is very weird and also intrusive. Getting your mail really pushes this into stalker territory. Same with analyzing the mail and lecturing you on it. Zero of this is her business. Uncomfortable situation, but no, you weren't an idiot. And distance from her is the best. Mom passed away four years ago, and my sister and I received an inheritance. All mom owned was split between us equally, except for her house. In her will, she wrote the house goes to whoever has kids in the future to help the grandchildren. Then mentioned that if my sister and I have kids, we'll split the house value in half. Obviously, my sister and her previously child-free husband wanted the house so bad because within weeks of the funeral, she announced she was pregnant, but couldn't keep it since she announced she lost it days later. She didn't stop until she had a son over a year later. She kept getting involved in my marriage, advising me to reconsider because of my husband's condition that caused us to suffer from infertility. He was also in remission for his mental condition when an accident impacted his jaw and left leg. Recovery's been long and draining. We got help from nobody. The past years were awful. My sister kept referring to my mom's house as officially her son's since she has a kid and I don't, won't, till my husband and I found out we were expecting recently. So we invited the family over to make the announcement, and when she heard, she was shocked. She asked if I was serious, then called me unbelievable to go as far as to lie so I get to share her kid's house. I was speechless. She said even if I was pregnant, we shouldn't be parents and brought up my husband's BPD, ignoring he recovered. She brought up his disability, which he got rehab for, saying this was a mistake because she never expected me to stay with him after everything. My husband heard that, but kept smiling at her as she listed why we should reconsider keeping this baby. I argued that what we decide is none of her business, and my husband got involved and sarcastically said, Oh, Aunt Helen is just mad now that she'll have to share Mama's house. Just say it. It's written all over your face. This upset her a lot. It escalated, and I told her and brother-in-law to leave. My dad and my aunt told me not to, but I kicked her out. My aunt said my sister was surprised, and under the impression my husband and I weren't going to work out due to several reasons, including infertility, so she was right to react this way. Adding that she didn't appreciate what my husband said, and the house is the last of my sister's worries because she promised to look after me when my mom passed, they want me to apologize and resolve this. Am I the idiot here? Not the idiot. Oh my God, what an absolute psychopath. Get a lawyer, get a copy of that will, and only communicate through that lawyer. She will make your life miserable no matter what happens from here on out. I would cut contact and let a legal team deal with any will and house situation. Not the idiot. Your sister sounds like a piece of work. She's in such a hurry to get pregnant to get that house that she barely waited for the last shovel to make it into your mom's grave before she was announcing a pregnancy, probably way too early, to try to stake a claim on it. And all her interference in your relationship up to this point, and she was trying to ensure that you couldn't have any claim to the house? Also, I don't know how your aunt could have watched her try to convince you not to go through with your pregnancy and think that your husband's comment was too far? Legitimately baffling. Everyone's the idiot here, the biggest idiot here is your mother for writing the will the way she did. This has made both you and your sister view each other's pregnancies as opportunistic. What if one of them had kids straight away and the other didn't have any for 10 to 20 years? Does the house just sit empty waiting for both siblings 
to be officially too old to have biological children or adopt, and then it could be divided up? Yeah, I'm on team everyone's the idiot here too. I love it when parents write their will that will obviously cause huge conflict between siblings and then expect there to be no hard feelings after they pass away. Mother here is really the biggest idiot. My ex approached me when I handed our little daughter over Sunday about giving him two weeks with her instead of the usual two days. Four days a month he has her. Shocked, I asked why. He told me that his girlfriend is due to have her baby next week and they decided to have a home birth with all family present. It's his girlfriend's version of her perfect birth to have everyone greet the baby when he, she, or they come into the world. She said she can draw on everyone's energy. There's more to it, but I don't know how to explain it because I don't understand it, if I'm being honest. I told him straight up no because of multiple reasons. One, if something goes wrong, I don't want my daughter being forgotten about in a rush to the hospital. Two, she hasn't been to a doctor at all since she found out she was pregnant, so I don't want my child being traumatized. Three, it's no place for a toddler. Four, his girlfriend will need his full attention. And let's be real, my daughter will want your attention too. He tried to reason with me and give me stuff he looked up, but I just continued to walk to my car. My last words were, I wish your girlfriend and your baby a healthy, safe delivery, but you're not using my kid for internet points. His girlfriend is addicted to social media. I don't know, maybe I'm an idiot, robbing my daughter of a bonding experience and stressing her out. Am I causing my ex's girlfriend stress and refusing her dream labor? I had four home births and I completely agree with you. The fact that she never saw a doctor is frightening. Is she being seen by a midwife at least? There will be sounds and sights your daughter will not understand and she may become frightened. Your ex would be subjecting your daughter needlessly to trauma. Not the idiot. For your daughter's sake, stand your ground. Had a friend whose kiddo was four, the same age as mine at the time, who planned a home birth. Experienced midwife Doc signed off. They prepared their kiddo in advance and explained it all. Six hours in, I got a call. Can you come get kiddo? Kiddo spent the next 40 odd hours with us. Mom ended up needing hospital and mom and baby had to spend a couple of days. It was fine with us, but the fact was, mom and dad and midwife needed to be focused on arriving baby, not four-year-olds. OP, there has been no prep of your kiddo, and it doesn't sound like she spends a lot of time with dad to begin with. This is a terrible idea. Please stand your ground on this. Two weeks instead of two days? Nope. Conversation was over right there. Not the idiot. Take some screenshots, though. Them harassing you for not breaking the court order? Surely won't look good for these loonies should they start more trouble. And they seem like troublemakers. Not the idiot. What the heck are they thinking? Oh wait, they aren't thinking about your daughter. They want to make a production, and she's just a cast member. A toddler is not an age filled with patience, or able to adjust and process what is happening, and most likely would be traumatized by this. You are most certainly correct to not allow her to be there for this event. They are thinking about the ultimate Instagram photo of OP's daughter leaning over the murky birthing pool to kiss her newborn sibling. There is no medical care, no midwife present, but I bet good money they've booked a birthing photographer already.